This is a very nice puzzle. Requires a bit of calculation from you. So this is from the game Lenderman against Dominguez, played in the US Championship in October 2022. Now here you can see that Lenderman has an extra pawn. Dominguez decided that he could liquidate with this move, bishop takes pawn. And the game went like this, pawn takes bishop, rook d8, that's the point. Dominguez has cleared the d-file, he attacks the knight on d4, and after e3, e5, pins the knight and wins the piece back. And shortly after, the game was agreed drawn. But let's go back to the position after bishop takes pawn. What did both players miss in this position? White to play and win. Now, you've got to get the detail right of this one. How can white win from this position? Do pause the video if you want to take a close look at this position. White to play. Okay, here we go. King takes bishop is a winning move. Now, it's really counterintuitive. Let's work out why this is winning. I can understand maybe Lenderman didn't even consider the move seriously. So first things first, if rook d8 pinning and attacking the knight, knight b3 slips out of the pin. Because if, let me see, um, queen e5 check, f4, attacks the queen, rook takes, pawn takes, and white has a winning position with the extra piece. And of course, if rook takes queen, then knight takes queen is also winning for white. And coming back to this position, queen c7 check. Now, don't move the king because rook takes queen, but queen f4, and white remains a piece up. The difference between this position and the position with the king on g2, with the king on g2, black could play queen c6 check and then take the queen. But with the king on g3, in fact, the tactics work in white's favour. OK, what about some alternatives? So after king takes, what about queen d6 check? So if queen f4, then e5 is actually winning for black, or at least, well, recovering the piece. But here, well, I mean, one has to spot this as well. King g2, also insufficient. Rook d8, and that wins back the piece. But the winning move here is f4. Basically covering the e5 square. So if e5, that can just be exchanged off. So rook d8, threatening here. Rook d1. Again, black can't put any more pressure on the knight. So after e5, you can just exchange off. And let's say queen f4, white's king is covered. So there we go. Bishop takes g3 was actually a mistake. And the winning move is king takes g3. Do check out the full solution on chesspuzzle.net. You'll find the link to the puzzle down in the description and in the comments. And, well, there's an interactive board. You have to play out the solution, play out the moves, and it'll bring you to the solution. Thanks for watching.